Greetings one and all and welcome to a Deckard Games YouTube thing. Today we are going to do a different thing I've done in the past few videos about uh, old laptops and what you can do with them, not making them new, replacing your mechanical spinning hard drive with an SSD, some uh, RAM upgrades, especially the NAND flash SSD makes a lot of difference on an old laptop, but still if you're not satisfied with the results running your typical Windows operating system, today we are going to use the uh, Chrome OS Flex. Yes, a uh, operating system by Google, which was made as the Chrome, as the original Chrome OS for a Chromebook. But doesn't, that doesn't mean we can't install it in a regular laptop. Here we have a... Um, Samsung laptop from the uh, Windows 8 era, uh, the uh, famous Windows 8, probably the only version of Windows that I have never used on a daily basis. I've tried it, but uh, it sucks, so <laughs> I uh, never used it at home at a daily basis. I just checked it out. And this is the case, it's a um, Windows 8 laptop. It has a uh, SSD and, uh, well, we are going to install Chrome OS Flex in case you just want to, I don't know, man, if you just want to go uh, online, check, check some stuff, if you, uh, uh, oops, if you uh, want to go on, uh, on YouTube and um, watch this channel, or maybe watch the um, Tech Jesus guy uh, who's going, uh, apparently he's going out of his mind or out of his way, but sure. I don't know, man, if you just want to do some work, again, if you want to do some uh, spreadsheet work and whatnot, it just works fine. Or maybe, let's say, if you uh, have a kid and you have an old laptop laying around, you can install Chrome OS because uh, Google Accounts works great and you cre can, can create a kid's account and uh, it works just fine. But the purpose of this video is to, um, I don't know, man, uh, as a guy who likes old hardware, I think we can, uh, or maybe we should, we should push the most or squeeze the most out of, uh, of every piece of hardware because um, the environment and the earth and whatnot and money, obviously, also. And, uh, well, since Google has a free uh, operating system, free, <laughs> you still have to use a Google account and whatnot, and they will steal your data, but uh, ah, it is what it is, man. It is the uh, deal of the moment. We are going to uh, use Chrome OS Flex. I'm going to show you how to get it. It's kind of stupid, but uh, it worked. It's easy, by the way, stupid, but easy. Uh, we are going to create a um, flash drive, thumb drive, pen drive, drive, whatever you want to call this thing, with a uh, Chrome OS Flex image, and we are going to install it on the uh, laptop. Well, it's already running, but we are going to install it. And um, you can bring back an uh, older laptop to life that you can also use. Again, it's perfectly fine to go online to do some spreadsheet work, um, Word, whatever. And uh, sure, let's start by... Uh, creating our uh, thumb drive with uh, Google OS Flex image and uh, we are going to install it. So first things first, we need to create our thumb drive with the image of the uh, OS that we are going to use. And in this case, this is the um, dumbest part of all the process. We are going to use Chrome and we are going to navigate to the uh, Chrome Web Store if you don't know the uh, site, just Google for it. You can either use the new Chrome Web Store or the uh, older one. And uh, while in the Chrome Web Store, we are going to uh, search for a uh, Chrome extension. So yeah, it is not a uh, program, it is not uh, an app. We are going to use a Chrome extension. In this case, we are going to search for recovery. And we have this one, the second result here. Of course, my Windows is in Portuguese, but um, it is the uh, recovery tool for Chromebooks. 
we don't have a Chromebook, we are going to use a regular or old Windows laptop. We are going to click on the extension and we are going to choose Use on Chrome or Install, whatever. You have to allow the extension. And uh, as you can see, extension has been added to your Chrome with the extension installed. We are going to uh, open it. It is just this uh, little window. We, we can close Chrome because although it is an extension, it works with Chrome closed. But, um, well, it's still running, but, uh, well, the browser is closed. And uh, by this time, you should plug your uh, USB uh, flash drive or thumb drive. and. Um, we are going to click start. Sure, it says that we need at least a USB card or a flash drive with 8 gigabytes of storage. Sure. We are going to click start. When it says to identify your Chromebook, we are going to, because we, don't, we are not using a Chromebook, we are going to select from a list. And here you have all the, let's say, official Chromebooks that you can uh, use. In this case, we, we are not going to uh, use a Chromebook. We are going to choose Google Chrome OS Flex on the uh, brand and on the model. There's only one option Chrome OS Flex. That's it. So, first Dropbox, Google Chrome OS Flex, and the second one. Well, it's the only option in there, so uh, we are going to click Continue. Next, we need to choose our thumb drive. Here we have a 60GB uh, Kingston DT Micro Duo 3C. That's a beautiful name. We are going to choose that one. Click Continue. And now it says Important! All your data and partitions will be eliminated. So... Uh, uh, that's pretty much expected. So, uh, yeah, let's click Create Now. And, um, well, all that you gotta do is uh, wait. It is uh, checking for um, things and whatnot. Then it will uh, write the uh, Chrome OS Flex image. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's fast forward this. And now after downloading all the stuff and checking all the stuff, well, it is finally writing the image to your thumb drive. And, uh, well, that is, that is it. We have a uh, success message. Oh, and it, it opens the uh, <laughs> pen drive. Uh, sure, we have a uh, success. You are now ready to uh, recover. We are not going to recover. We are going to install. You just uh, click exit. Remember to uh, safely remove your uh, USB drive. There you go. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. We are ready to take our uh, Chrome OS Flex flash drive into our laptop. So with our Google OS Flex thumb drive already done, the first thing that we are going to do naturally is to uh, plug it in there. I believe I have a USB 3 port here. If I can plug this in. There you go. Our pen drive is uh, in there. And while it is in there, uh, well, you gotta know this, you need to boot from the pen drive. You can either go to your BIOS and set the boot priority to use the uh, thumb drive, or you can go to the boot menu. Please refer to your um, laptop manufacturer guide to know uh, all these shortcuts. In my case, this is a Samsung. It is usually F8 or F10. In this case, it is F10. So we are going to power it on and uh, I'm going to keep clicking F10 to go to the boot menu. Again, your case may differ. There you go. And like I said, please refer to your uh, manual. On the screen, we are going to select our thumb drive. In this case, it is the uh, fourth option. Let me just... So here we are a little bit in closer. In my case, it is the fourth option. Again, USB hard drive. It is not a hard drive, but whatever. Kingston DT, whatever. Please select your um, 
USB drive and just press enter. And instead of booting from the SSD on the laptop, it's going to boot from the pen. Please keep in mind that this will erase everything on your laptop. And I mean, everything is gone. So uh, please be advised of that. Now we have to wait. It's uh, doing things on the flash drive. There you go, Chrome OS Flex, booting from the uh, flash drive. So here we are at the uh, welcome screen. First things first, you gotta choose your language. In my case, I'm going to choose Portuguese because uh, that's what I am. Portuguese from Portugal. So as you can see, language did change and well, let us click let's start now over here you can either choose install or test first this takes a while and uh, it's uh, pretty much unnecessary so we are going to choose install chrome os flex and click next and now there you go uh, the installation of chrome os will wipe clean all your data on your hard drive that we already knew and let's click install you can confirm that and now the process of waiting it's fast again it depends on the fastness of your um, flash drive do you have usb 3 or not on your laptop it's just usb 2 it doesn't matter it uh, takes uh, not too long uh, again it depends on uh, those factors but uh, now we wait you can grab a cup of coffee you can go eat something it doesn't take too long just wait. So installation is done. I don't know, it took a couple of minutes, three minutes, more or less. And now it, it is telling you to remove your uh, USB flash drive and it will restart. Here we have our uh, Chrome OS Flex first boot. We are going to configure accounts and whatnot. So this is not the installation. Installation is done much like an uh, Android system. Now we are configuring our preferences. Again, I need to change the language. You can connect to a uh, Wi-Fi, sure. Now, as I said earlier, you can either set to personal use, you can create a uh, kid's account, you can set it for work. In this case, I'm going to select personal use. It is checking for updates and whatnot. Now we are going to configure our Google account. You can either choose to participate on the uh, diagnosis program and whatnot. You can synchronize your Chromebook with other devices. You can change your uh, touchpad thingies and whatnot. So uh, sure, this is all personal. You can set it as you like. And as you can see, we are all set we can start using our Chromebook, although it isn't a Chromebook. I am just having my uh, language because this was set for Portuguese from Brazil and that's not okay. And there you go. We are all set to start using our uh, Chromebook. We can go online, you know, you, we can watch YouTube apps and games and whatnot i'm not gonna show you how it works from here because uh, it is a uh, regular regular uh, android device but uh, feel free to uh, explore it without any issues we, he we even have a uh, start me menu on the um, left it is just uh, google <laughs> showing the middle finger 
to Microsoft, we are going to put our start menu on the left corner. Because you've put it on the middle, on Windows 11, although you can change it to the left, but uh, nevertheless. So, uh, again, there you go. Your uh, Chrome OS Flex installed on a um, older laptop and it works just fine. The purpose of this video, again, is to show you how to do it. Because uh, that part of not having a uh, program, a downloadable program, to create your image, it's kind of stupid. But uh, it is Google stupid, so uh, sure. The installation process, as you can see, very, very easy, very simple, and you can enjoy a um, old hardware running a um, new operating system. So feel free to explore it. I'm not going to bother you with it. You can install your apps and whatnot. Again, just like a device, you can uh, explore it. So uh, if you enjoy this video, leave it a thumbs up. Mm, click that subscribe button down here. Your support is always very much appreciated. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more uh, videos. I've been doing uh, a lot of uh, old games, retrospective videos and uh, whatnot, things like that. So uh, feel free to explore those. Feel free to check out the, uh, those videos about um, bringing an old laptop back to life with an SSD. So, uh, yeah, as always, again, thank you for watching. Until my next video, please do, and as always, take care.